Welcome to Sid Meier's Colonization, I am Magican, and this game is from 1994. Uh, it's, it's a pretty old game, but as Sid Meier also made uh, games like uh, the really good one everybody should know is of course Civilization, but he also made other games that um, Alpha Centauri and now we have of course Civilization, the 5, 6, all those. But this game is, as you can see, the ship here sailing from Europe and finding, as uh, you see a little later, finding the Great America. And it's about the European wars also, and but it begins a little bit slower. You you just start with a colony you have to build out, and it's really important to really get it uh, in the beginning and if you do not know it you, you should be able to take it in the, in the slow version of this game where you just play standard but I'm gonna play the hardest I can and that's where the computer actually cheats it, 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 it does cheat uh, it cannot win without cheating but that does not matter we will also cheat but just in a little different way uh, but I will just show you the game is is incredible. I really think this is uh, One of the highest ratings games Compared to the one thing I'm always interested in and that's of course the gameplay The graphic is fine. I like this um, Adventuring graphic. It's it's this is actually from 1994 and it's really really good uh, for that period of time and this is the patch from our play this game got and it's a patch 3.0 and, and all these music themes here is also good you can get a little crazy later on uh, having these uh, songs played all over so I normally turn them off or close them long down but the the small things like the this not the music but the sound effects is really good. Here you have different abilities to customize, make a game. Normally I in the beginning I had to start a new world game or make America, but I'm not gonna do that now. I'm customizing a new world. I like to have a lot of landmass and a lot of islands. So I want to take these two and this is the landmass. Island amphibio, that's why temperate temperatures. You can also have like harder, a uh, little bit more rainforest, like uh, going down here in warm temperature, or you can have like a little bit more mountain, uh, and that will be good for or silver, especially in the beginning. But I will come into that in this game. You probably have seen this game. Uh, if you are interested in this type of strategic gameplay or strategic games on uh, on other reviews or on YouTube or something like that, but you can also choose here climate wet and arid. That's really desert like, but and this will make a lot of uh, jungle and stuff like that. But let's just click here. And here you have the difficulties and what I said just before was if you want to go into it and just play without reading the manual It's gonna be hard uh, There's a lot of it's it's not that difficult to get into but To know what to build I will recommend you choose this one. I will choose this rice raw you also have uh, Discoverer and Explorer and this is the standard conqueror Moderated and Governor Tough and Viceroy. I will pick that. Then you have four countries. That's why I said you have this European uh, battles. Uh, you have to figure out what to do in that situation. The migration. You cannot. I can. I can just inform you what it is. But you actually get from a migration pool when when people want to escape Europe, they go to America, and then you can pick them up in your one ship you start with. And England has one third more of this population, and that is so. When every time all the others should have three, then that would be four. But it 
grows it's not like in the beginning you get really fast and then it takes longer and longer to get them that's why i like england but i'm not gonna play them this time that's why it's called immigration here you also have cooperation france they will got they will get two things they get a pioneer it's not a standard pioneer it's a real pioneer not just the one that has not the specification for it because you have specification for each group and the france will get one really good pioneer that can uh, clear uh, the area of the city, plow, also build mines uh, by making, not really mines, but making a road through so it will get extra and the roads will be really fast to make uh, compared to the, the rest of the European areas in the beginning. You will always be able to buy them at the pool or even get them at the pool as the immigration as I said with English but you will also get them with these countries of course and they will also get one other thing that's quite good they only grew half in, um, towards the Indians ha uh, what I mean by half is that you actually have a growing of intensity towards the Indian population and when you build too fast or you get too big they start complaining and then they made raids and these will only grow half when you have friends you will also be able to have some uh, others like uh, Pocahontas that is founding fathers you can have in this game and you will also cut that so but in the beginning France is really good to have so you do not have any problems and the trade will be really good with them also then you have Spanish they only get one thing and that's a really good thing that's 50% extra towards uh, natives in combat and they get one in the stead of the military unit you have that is just a normal colonist then you get a real uh, military unit that is veteran and they got 50% extra plus 50% towards Indians and the Indian tribes when you capture the cities you get gold out of them you can have in Incas and Asians and you can have a lot of others uh, you can have a l there's so many I will just go into that a little bit later instead of just naming them all here and that would be Spain but Netherlands the Dutch has trade you can see that's conquest for Spain trade that's orange here I actually like mostly my favorite color is yellow I would like that but I never play Spain um, I mostly in the beginning play England, then I play Dutch and the uh, Netherlands, and then I played French. But I'm gonna play Dutch this time. They got two good things. One is that your ship is not a standard caravel. You actually get a merchant, uh, merchantman that can have four rooms for each uh, ship instead of two as the beginning. And then there's different ships. I will go into that also and they also got one other thing that's really good the trade in Europe that's the main point of this uh, do not change that much compared to um, the time if you bring in a lot of silver then the silver falls quickly but it does not fall that fast with Netherlands or the Dutch people here because they are a trading nationality so they they have that a little bit better so you can get a lot of more gold so you can buy ships and be better or even buy people so I'm gonna choose these guys the Dutch people and let's just see here and when you have chosen that with the left you have to click over here and of course And as you can see here, you can actually see that the Protestant Dutch province gained their independence from the Catholic Spain during the age of expansion. A maritime country of fishermen and merchants. This is always the same, uh, nearly, but the Dutch Netherlands operated large merchant fishing fleets in the North Sea and Baltic. Upon achieving political independence in the early 17th centuries, this tiny 17th century, this time nature found itself to expand its overseas trade into the Pacific Union. 
markets in the Far East. Yeah, 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 yeah. But this is a lot of text. I will just continue. Here we go. To represent the strength of the Dutch economy as well as the Dutch achievements in shipping, commons and banking, the Dutch player receives a bonus when trading with Amsterdam. Community prices in Amsterdam do not collapse quickly as other European ports and they recover more quickly. And then the year now of the Lord, 1492, audience with the stat holder. For the greater glory of the Netherlands, we dub the Viceroy of the New World. Go and explore this new land, settle it and bring wealth and glory to yourself and our nation. And then you have a lot of text here. In the year of our Lord, 1492, okay, it's a long time ago, a special edition laid by the great wise Roy Magica. And in 1994 here, that all those things with names and stuff, it was really incredible to see. So, left Amsterdam on a voice of discovery. And you can see the ship starts to get a little bit more built down in the bottom there uh, later on when it starts to sail out. Commissioned and blessed by the stat holder of the Netherlands. You can just press the mouse button here normally and then you go to the new world, but I will not do that here. To explore the ocean sea, you can see the ship just go a little bit there. To find on charted lands. And this music, as you can see, is a little bit hard, if you can continue hearing. And to establish colonies of the greater glory of the Netherlands. A ship loaded with pioneers and soldiers. And these are not perfect ones, they're just standard. Set sail to find a new life. Here we get the map. That's good. So we have a map here where you can see we're going from east towards west. These are the high waves, then you can actually go back to Europe. But this ship is a little bit different. It also has five moves. You have your military unit and your tool unit or building unit. He has tools, but he's not professional in building and removing stuff. So let's just use the keyboard. You will also use your mouse, but it can be a little bit hard just to continue that. And you can use your uh, numlock keys or your normal arrows, but it's easier to use numlock keys because you can go like this and get a little bit more of area. Discovery of the new world. I will call this a new hope. I like the word hope. things and help is also a good thing okay we can see this area is not that good hmm maybe I should just I asked for big areas and not small let's just let's make landfall that is actually not a bad place to build I need to be able to go... Oh, that's an English Sue. Yes, let's say yes to the Sue. Okay, there's the English guys. I like to capture them. That will be the best I can do, if that's even a possibility. Oh. So I'd like to build right here. Then there will be two water. If I build up here, there will be too much water. There's no... Here's also but too much. Here is actually quite good. And I will call this City of Hope. The only thing that is, there's no ore here. And you need ore later on. But, whoa, there's silver. Silver is not bad. But these... Wetland force will be removed later on. There will be the silver will be removed. This that guy there. Maybe it's not the best thing to go for in the beginning. Uh, yeah, let's. Silver is really good for 
gold. You get a lot of good prizes. This is really hmm. These will not hold up. They will be removed. These uh, gem minerals will be removed, and when you plow, everything will be gone. So maybe I should go for all, but it will take 100 turns to just get 100. So. Yeah, it's difficult. I will take the silver. Let's see what we can do here. This is the Founding Fathers. We have Pitamichum. That's a special one because you will be able to use... Um, you can see here what he is, uh, what he was, as you can see the time. But the yellow here means that this is what he does for your area. And these are div. They can be English, French, Dutch, or uh, Spanish people. It does not matter really. Um, it's it's not like you can only get the English. You can only get the, if you're English, and you only get the French if you're French, something like that. But here, you know, when he joins the Congressional Congress, the engines no longer demand payment for the land. That's not a bad one. And we can have. Fur trappers increased by 100%, all fur trappers. But that's only the fur trappers. That's not furs, that's only the guys that have this ability. So that can be a really bit, bit stupid to have. But if you, if you should have it, check it in the beginning. And Paul Revere, when a colonist no, with no standing solar is attacked, the colonist automatically takes up any stockpile musket defend the colony. Then, has to be a musket and will be plus one. It will be good in the beginning, but not right now. When pain in this conclusion, liberty both production on colonies increased by the value of the current tax rate. So that will be laid on if the tax rate from the English king is high, then you will increase that. That will be really good. And John the Muir. Uh, all missionary function experts. So I need to take Pyramidium. And what I mean by that, you can see these, it looks like totem pole poles, and it is good for food if cleared. You can see different areas like in civilization. I will go into all that a little bit later on. I will just concentrate on the English guys here. Let's see if they will go to build a city. I'll just wait a little bit here, because it's really important. Meeting your parents? No. How far? Uh, this is what I mean by getting it really fast here. Uh, I will make war with English people, nation, right away. Okay, I got written soldiers in here. Let's make landfall right away. And... I have four moves, then I have to find a good area for these four moves. I could go one, two, three, four. Let's just try that. Get some more. I have to be home in the town. Early on here. Let's see. One, two. I can see the water here. So if I click, if I move the boat, the ship one and two then it will only be on the third but if I do this then it's already gone let's attack this colonist whoa we even get veteran status and we take the Jamestown and as you can see here we got veteran status and in this city there's actually only guns nothing else here so I will dismantle this city and say soldier right away. Yes, that would be God's will. The only thing in this situation is that now I got two. But the only thing in this situation is this, the, the way that I now got the English arm in trouble. And they also say the Sioux, you can see the exclamation point here. When it's Dark green, that's not that difficulty with the issues here, but the zoo is not 
a settlement that's happy to see these guys here as us. So uh, we should take it quite easy. Remove our... Uh, now it's getting a little bit darker. Here the color. That's really good. So um, we do not have any problems here. But where is the English forces now? Whoa! They're attacking! They were actually attacking the tools up there. And they won. So the English is out. They have actually maybe attacked the Sioux capital. That was really stupid. And now I cannot capture them. They cannot be my troops anymore. That is really... Oh, okay, they won. <laughs> Sometimes they will win and lose. What I mean by that is they will win over the Indians, but they also lose themselves. So they will both lose the battle there. But right now we'll just stay here a little bit. And move down here. I have to be careful of this. In the beginning it's not that difficult. But later on it will be. Now I have a chance to go in and say, Whoa, this guy. He can actually plow a field. And that would be really good to do that. To just plow the field here. So I will actually go and do that. So um, I will go in and say, um, let's see which area that's the best. This is six lumber. I will not use that. This is four lumber. I will not go for that. And six lumber, not that. Oh, four lumber. It's fine. It's fine. And maybe a little bit. And six lumber. That's good for food when cleared. You can also see different type what it's good for. But the first one should not go for any of these areas. It should go for this one. So right now I can ask this military unit to go in and say Pioneer. There we go. And then clear this area. There we go. Right click. Good for cotton. Ah, it should have been tobacco or something else. But we get what we get. That's a lot of people here. Oh, that's another city here. Make landfall. They try it again. And then you press P or right click. And see if you want to change something. And then you go up in orders. And you can see different areas. But use W and not space when you have to do this. Or space outside the area so you do not space that guy and space means skip a turn and now you got it you can also go up here in orders and then say you should not build road you cannot build road actually but you can clear forest on P I know the keyboard combinations so I'm normally using them let's see here and let's attack this man and I would like this guy to get out and be a pioneer. Then we get their tools too. Oh, that's ship and harbor now. Let's see if we can get this criminal. Yes, we get it. And we actually damaged their ship. Let's see what they brought us. They didn't bring us anything really. Okay, this, they're going for a lot of ore here. It is an ore town, so that will not be that bad. Let's just uh, look what we should do here. Normally, I will build longer in the area, like here. I think that will be good. So I will go in and take the ore. And wait a turn and then move these guys up. This is the best way to get these colonists in the beginning. Just go right away, really, really fast to get this to work the way you want them to work. Like, fight them right away. Do not wait for it. Do not do anything else. Just go for it right away. That's the best way to do this. 
And when you have this, you can actually ask him to say colonist. Yes. Remove the town. You can only do that when you do not have a stockpile. I will move in and take this area. I could also go down and take this area instead. And then bring that in. Maybe that would be good to have the soldier move down here and see what is in that area. One, two, there we go. And, oh, that was not good. I should, you can only do that with the mouse button. I played this four or five years ago, so it's a little bit longer time ago. So, um, I just had to be in remembrance of what, exactly what to do here. Uh, I will not build anything like here because then they will use these two and one thing I will also inform you we have listened to this music enough I will normally remove the background not the event and not the sound effect just the background music there we go because it can be quite a lot when you listen to this late at night and early in the morning when you just want one more turn so uh, now it's going quite well here right now but still have to look if we can do this the right way okay we got this guy to this soldier that's not bad to have a soldier here and you got two pioneers we got one going for silver right now i need to be careful Whoa, this is not... If to build one here will not be that bad. This is a really, really good place. Then you got fish and water outside and you got a good area here. This is, this is not bad. This is really good. I need to bring these down. And then I need to go up here if I can. that these servants here are ready now uh, they are not that good compared to what we really, really need well let's see what we get we got 204 that's quite good we can have the tools we can also trade we can have horses that will not be bad either to get our soldiers up and horses but let's take got already 200 tools but that's not enough I would like to have the horses maybe that sounds a little bit weird but when you have tools but let's go with that and then we got another soldier guy here I like this and this one should just go oh that is a minus Look at this. That's not good. Why is this not good? Because to build close to a, another land, that is really, really bad. This is not bad. Okay, they're trying to bring in and want us to be joyful with each other. No, I like this fisherman. And I like to catch him also. Yes. That is nice. You can capture everything. Pioneers you cannot capture. You will actually lose. They will lose the pioneer if you go for that. So that's a little bit different. Okay. This is the first part. Now I will explain a little bit about what you see here. That's why I didn't explain it right away. You see the land here, this is what you have right now, there's one tribe, there will be a lot more, you can see the map here. These type of unit you get in England, uh, these are criminal, that is really bad, they, they got them in England, but you can also get them in Holland. You can press E on the keyboard, you can also go up in the top. And you can see which one you want to recruit next time. Or you can see here, petty criminals the next two times, expert or miners. These are the guys that want to escape to the new world and 
bring in some little bit more prosperity they cannot be in England that's not any room for them all miners is really good because we see the ore there you can also buy them do not do that then it will be harder and harder to get uh, these uh, immigrants but if you want to buy something purchase the ship from here or train these guys when you get enough of gold to do that as you can see here hardy pioneers that's a really good one that's with tools and veteran soldiers that is with guns that's the only two you can actually have something with you when you go to the new area here you see what prices are the first number is the price you get from it the second number is what it will cost you to buy and as you can see that's different that's these one two and that will be always hundred pieces if you want to have a less hold down ship shift and then you can do that you can also click on each see what it is right click and you can see silver in the beginning is really good you get a lot of gold for silver but later on it will diminish quite a lot down to one and two like these and these like horses tools and weapons will rise pretty fast so that is the new world or the old world and here you have all your soldiers you can see the moves up here what you can do declare independence you'll do that later on i'll go into these different areas where when we reach them uh, you can have a zoom level to see different areas how big the map is even high out so you do not have problems with seeing it and orders you can do all the things where no order space bar that's not good to do if you do not want to do that these you can look at the manual you can see the that's not good it's actually just before they will attack and you can see the advices you can have different advices and I will go into that next recording you can have your trade edit trade routes create trade routes delete trade routes I'm not I like the micromanagement do it myself thing here so normally I do that but right now it's um, you can see also here I forgot that expected soon bound for new hope you can see we have the things I will not sell the food as the food will grow the area quite fast and no ship in port so they are bound for this area and the problem is when I save this then next time I will lose one turn so that is actually the problem but I will I will lose that turn every time and that's also good that means I will not like to save that too much because I'm in the hardest difficulty right here I will do it next time I will go into uh, the different areas of the the F keys reports and then building a little bit on this was quite fast beginning it's meant to be fast right now that's why I'm doing this quite fast and then I will take it a little bit slow because in the beginning I do not have that much so now I have a little bit extra I can show you exactly what to do Say thank you for watching this first little action packed attacking and next time will be a little bit more slow. Maybe the Europeans like the Englishmen will still be there. The French and the Spanish are somewhere on this con these uh, islands, continents, different areas. Thank you for watching and see you next time.